Hi, I'm Tony Guerra, PharmD, and I wanted to go over metoprolol's morphology. Uh, there's some question as to the proper pronunciation of it. Uh, the question, there are two ways to pronounce the generic beta blocker metoprolol, which is correct. Is it metoprolol or is it metaprolol? First, what's morphology? Second, what's the morphology of other beta blockers so we can get this in context to see if we can make a comparison? And then, why does metoprolol violate our expectations? So first, what is morphology? Uh, let's look at linguistic morphology. A stem is a root that has meaning, so the word run has meaning. You can put affixes on it. You can put a prefix, something before the run, to make it rerun, which makes it a completely different word. Or you can put a suffix on it to make it runner, which is not the act of running, but the actual person that does run. So, in USAN morphology, that's the U.S. Adopted Names Council morphology, the stem is a root that has meaning, sort of. OLOL is supposed to say it's a kind of beta blocker. And these affixes, the prefix, has no meaning. Okay? It's only supposed to separate different types of medicine. So, propranolol atenolol and metoprolol are all beta blockers by having this stem of OLOL but we're going to see that this METOPR runs into problems and according to the USAN way of doing things there's no suffix in this case. So beta blocker morphology continued we have a stem expectation of having an OLOL -L at the end. And it's the same way that if you were to say a phone number and go 515-555-1212. What we're going to see is that there's a stem expectation violation. Instead of having the OLOL -L together, the O gets pulled away and we just have LOL at the end. It would be like saying a phone number 515-5551-212. And the other person would go, wait a minute, you missed a number. No, I didn't. No, you missed a number. You just said 212 at the end. Right, but I said 5551. Well, why would you do that? And the same thing is going to be true here uh, with metoprolol. So let's first look at a bunch of beta blockers and see what's the same. Asbutalol, latenolol, bataxolol, bisoprolol, carvedilol, esmolol, labetalol, metapranolol, metoprolol, natalol, penbutalol, pindolol, propranolol. We've got all these beta blockers and we might first think, okay, well, carvedilol has an ILOL and labetalol has an ALOL. So those are wrong, but they sound just fine. And why do they sound just fine? Because we have this two-syllable expectation at the end. Oh, alol, ilol, alol, they all come together. The problem is with bisoprolol, esmolol, and metoprolol is that by taking this OL, OL away, we have now created unpronounceable syllables. You can't say per, you can't say esm. So because you can't say those two syllables in a meaningful way, we're going to have to do something a little bit goofy. Esmolol is fine though, because there's only one way to do it. Esmolol. There's no argument there. The problem is with bisoprolol and metoprolol is that there are many different ways to do it. You can go bisoprolol, you can go bisoprolol, you can go bisoprolol, or you can do metoprolol, metoprolol, or metoprolol. The third sounds awkward in both cases, so we don't do that, but in two different references I found that bisoprolol and metaprolol, which should be the same, end up being different. So let's go back to our phone number expectation. We expect 515-555-1212, but these unpronounceable syllables don't allow us to keep the stem. We now have to split it 
and make this very strange 515-5551-212. And that's uncomfortable for us. And because of that, we have these two choices. So there are two ways to pronounce the generic beta blocker metoprolol. Which is correct? Well, there really isn't a correct one. Uh, I found both reliable references. One says metoprolol, it was a medical dictionary. And one says metoprolol. This is one of those paid online references uh, that you go to. So uh, really we can only take a descriptive view here and say wherever you're at, that's uh, how I would pronounce it. If they say metoprolol there, I'd say pronounce it that way. If they say metoprolol there, I'd pronounce it that way.